Good morning, it is Friday the 20th of July 2018 and welcome to the local news for today. Dog meat producer tries again to export to Trinidad. Government provides hospitals with 100 million SRD. Target date for the transition of the IOL teachers to the university is not feasible. And the counter-terrorism intelligence unit is not dissolved. The Dachshund Club makes a serious attempt again to export to Trinidad and Tobago. According to the rules of the CARICOM, the Dachshund Club has been allowed since two years to export duck meat to the Caribbean, but it has always experienced barriers to get its, its product on the CARICOM market. Gerard van den Berg, director of Dachshund Club, says that his organization has taken all the required steps in the past years. He also says that through the formal institutes of the CARICOM, everything was already approved. But it all went wrong when the company applied for a permit. The company now adopts a wait-and-see attitude to see if this time good results will come within the next two weeks. The chairman of the National Hospital Council, Manoj Hinduri, is pleased with the response from the government to provide the hospitals with 100 million SRD. On Wednesday, the council issued a statement in which it stated that there are a few stocks and supplies at the hospitals to continue the service to the public. Hindri says that with the promise of 100 million SRD, medical supplies can be purchased for the next six months to guarantee the service. Furthermore, Hindri maintains that there should be a structural solution to the systematically underfinancing of the health sector. Now there is a debate about the increase in the hospital rates as the solution to help the hospitals come out of their bad financial situation. The effort deteriorating financial situation of the hospital leads, according to Hindri, to a shortage of medicines and medical supplies. The target date of the 1st of October 2018 for the incorporation of the IOL within the Antonacom University is not feasible. According to Jack Menka, chairman of the university board, there is still a lot to do in the administrative and technical fields to be put in place for the total reform of the teachers. The IOL also has doubts about the target date of the 1st of October. According to the Vice President of Education Affairs of the IOL, there are still many ambiguities about the merger of the teacher training within the, I the university and about the curricula and the position of the teachers within, the, within this institute. Although the Vice President supports the vision to improve the quality of the education, he does not want a false start. The Counter-Terrorism Intelligence Unit, CTIU, has not been dissolved. Minister Stuart Getro of Justice and Police made that clear in to the Parliament. Some members of the opposition believe that the minister has wrongly informed the Parliament and on that basis, he should resign. The MPs Melvin Balfa, Roshi Hopkinson and Kesho Prasad Gangaram Pandey of the NDP say they have full confidence in the minister and called on him to continue with that what's good for the nation. Minister Getro emphasizes that he acted according to the police charter when he withdrew some ranks from the unit. He also spoke with the Attorney General about the recall of the policeman and not about the dissolution of the CTIU. And that will be all for the local news for this for this Friday. Be sure to join us Monday for a brand new edition. Have a joyful and pleasant day further. Bye-bye.